Congratulations, Gemini coming in second as the most viewed video for the first half of July. So let's dive right into your bonus reading here, taking a look at some current energies for you and your connection. And then we'll take a look at the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine perspectives and some additional guidance regarding your connection. So let's get right into this general. As always, guys, it's not going to resonate with every single person. So please do take from it, as always, what makes sense for you personally. All right, Gemini, so we're going to start with two of my self-created decks. This is the Silhouettes deck, and then we'll grab some cards from the Dating Scene Oracle. All right, so let's begin. Current energies for your connection, whoever it is that you are thinking about for this reading, Gemini, for this bonus reading. All right, let's take a look. Current energies. We have picture perfect, all right? Somebody could even be a photographer here or just really love to take selfies or pictures. Your most attractive asset is the way your heart makes me smile from the inside out. So either this is how you feel about a particular individual you're focused on or how they feel about you. Something about their smile that you really love, perhaps, we have Spellbound coming through as well. You've captured me with just one glance. Your mere presence fascinates me beyond words and leaves me speechless. So there's this attraction that's coming through between the two of you. This to me reminds me of almost a reference to that love at first sight type interaction between two people when you first meet. And maybe you do feel that this person is perfectly matched up for you. And then we have curiosity coming up next. You won't know unless you ask. So if it is you that's curious about this person, especially if you're at a distance from one another or you haven't spoken in a very long time, there's a question that you might be thinking of asking them or a bunch of questions. Maybe you never had closure when it came to this person. So we'll have to clarify that and see what that's about. So let's add to this from the dating scene oracle. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini for this bonus reading. What else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know? current energies for your connection. We have sociable, easily approachable. Okay, so I have a feeling here when it came to the two of you. First of all, I feel that instant connection and I'm getting here for you and your person, Gemini, that you're both sociable. You guys could have met at a social gathering, maybe at a party, social event. And when you first saw this individual, again, I'm feeling love at first sight for some of you, instant attraction. And you guys got along really well. The conversations flowed. There were no awkward moments. But if, again, you guys are at a distance from one another as easily as it was when you first connected and just being able to talk to each other, almost as if you've known each other before, that's how well the conversation went. There were no awkward moments. That's just what I keep getting. That the conversations, you guys could talk for hours about anything and everything. And I'm also getting for some of you guys that you could have ended up being really fast friends before you turned into more than friends. We have dance partners coming through. Two hearts in rhythm. Okay, so for some of you guys, you again could have met at an event where there was music or dancing. This could be a literal meaning for some of you where you could have been dance partners, could have met in an event where they were your actual dance partner. Take that only if it applies, of course. But your hearts are in rhythm with each other. You're in sync with each other, basically. Let's grab another message for Gemini. Okay, two. We'll sweep you off your feet, okay? 
Dance partners will sweep you off your feet. I love the reference to that. Very light on your feet. And again, when you first met this person, love at first sight, instant attraction, swept off your feet. That's what's coming through here. And then we have wifey material. So we have a masculine who sees the feminine as wifey material. And I'm drawn to this one too. Immersed, only focused on each other. So when you guys are interacting, when you're together, there's no one else in the room. You could be surrounded by a million people. It does not matter. You're only focused on them. They're only focused on you. Nobody else. That is the energy that I am picking up between you and this person. So let's add to this. I'm going to pull from my tarot teacher. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Gemini, for this bonus reading. Current energies is that you're curious about them or they are curious about you, wanting to know what's up, perhaps. We have the Four of Cups. This could represent the disconnectedness between the two of you and also someone who's got some regrets that you guys are not together. This represents a potential missed opportunity for you guys to have found real happiness here. And right now, things are stagnant and there is a stalemate here. So perhaps despite the attraction and the chemistry, you're at a stalemate with this person or just really struggling to make a decision about this connection. Somebody walked away here, Gemini. Either you did the walking away or they did. Because whoever was left behind, whoever left the other person, that person's really curious as to what's going on with you or you're curious as to what's going on with them. It really could go either way or you're both really wondering how you both are without each other. We have a masculine coming in as the Knight of Cups, a very romantic lover, very charming, chivalrous. I feel, Divine Feminines, that your masculine wants to revive this partnership. They still want you. King of Pentacles is someone who would actually be a really good love partner. They're very abundant, prosperous. This is someone who's faithful. This is not somebody who's going to get into third party situations or be unfaithful to a partner. Financially, they could be really well off. This is a mature, grounded, masculine right here. The King of Pentacles is looking for something that can withstand the test of time. You know, again, wifey material right here. This is how the masculine sees the feminine as a potential life partner. And the King of Pentacles represents the divine masculine seeing the feminine in that way. Some of you guys might be focused on a Virgo. We've got the Hermit here. So this is the need for soul searching. To be alone. Spend some time alone in the meantime. To contemplate, you know, what's your next step? Or maybe they're really curious as to what it is that they need to do now. Wanting particular things to unfold between the two of you moving forward. And what I do love about the Hermit's energy is it can bridge estrangements, bring two people back together who are at a distance. But in the meantime, there is this need to just go within and focus on what it is that you're both ultimately wanting here with this connection. So we'll dig a little bit deeper to see individually where the masculine and the feminine are at currently. Okay. So let's start with the Divine Feminine. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the Journey to the Divine Feminine deck. This is by Divine Moon Empress. So focusing on the Divine Feminine, where are you at currently on this journey here? Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini. Focusing on 
the divine feminine we have sorrow deep distress caused by loss disappointment or other misfortune suffered by oneself or others i mean of course this sorrow does not have to just be about what's going on between you and your masculine although that is what it is that we are focused on here but of course it can be that some of you might just be going through some major struggles in other areas of your life that's causing you to feel really sad and grieving the loss of something or someone some of you guys might have lost a loved one as well but when it comes to the connection with your divine masculine some of you are healing from a broken heart because you guys are not together with your person and then we have the soulmate card coming through here and the need for forgiveness okay so maybe divine feminine you struggled a bit to find forgiveness in your heart when it came to your masculine this could be what it is that you are working through but a very strong soul connection with your masculine is coming through here so let's add some words to this i'm going to pull from my real talk with her words of wisdom deck so let's grab some words on behalf of the divine feminine here angels and spirit guides please for gemini there's healing that needs to happen here for the feminine distress loss disappointment those are some heavy things to go through the sound of my name when it comes from his lips is like music to my ears so divine feminine when you hear from your masculine or maybe every time they say your name it just makes you happy and there's this reference to music once again we had dancing partners that came through earlier remember so i feel music might actually play a really huge role in your connection two hearts in rhythm music to my ears dancing partners this is the next message from the feminine i fell in love with your soul before you even touched my skin i fell in love with your heart the moment you let me in so what this is telling us is for those of you of course who've experienced intimacy with your masculine before you guys were even ex experiencing a physical connection so certainly sexually this feminine fell in love with the masculine it wasn't just strictly about the physical connection I didn't fall in love with you. I walked into love with you with my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step with you forever. So I feel here, Divine Feminine, when you connected with your masculine, you gave your all. You gave your whole entire heart. You left nothing behind. And maybe when you guys went into separation for whatever reason, it broke you. Okay, it definitely hurt your heart this is heartbreak this is sorrow as it's clearly indicated here and maybe you, you're just really struggling being able to forgive your masculine for how things ultimately played out so let's clarify some of that i'm going to pull from my modern day seers tarot and oracle tarot with a twist if you are new to my channel this is a deck that i created especially for advanced beginners interested in learning how to read tarot it's got the upright and reversed meanings for the majority of the cards. But the twist here is that it also includes new oracle messages as well as new court cards exclusive to this deck. So it makes it a little bit more challenging, but it's a lot of fun as well while you're learning. So let's go ahead and see, Gemini, when it comes to the Divine Feminine, what else we need to know at this time. We have Archangel Gabriel coming in to help you heal. I am the angel known as the master of communication. If you're having trouble expressing yourself to your beloved, I'm here to assist. I can inspire writers, teachers, journalists, and artists to convey their messages with clarity and grace. 
I can help you overcome your limitations so you can finally say the right thing to the right person at the right time. If you struggle with conveying your emotions, call on me. I will be there for you. So there's communication that's definitely needed here between the feminine and the masculine. More than likely, that's not happening right now since we did get the stalemate card earlier. But Archangel Gabriel is here to help open up communication. And I find it so interesting that there's this reference to artists. I feel some of you guys might either be... Because we did have references to music. So a songwriter, a singer, you might play an instrument, whatever it is involved in the music industry. I'm just feeling that for some of you guys. We do have the Knight of Cups coming through. So some of you guys could be dealing with a water sign here cancer scorpio or pisces this is someone who's very romantic didn't that already come through from the other cards didn't we already get yeah we did the knight of cups coming in again so a romantic lover romantic proposals charming chivalrous attractive this is someone who's really interested in wanting to date you again, wanting to reconnect with you, Divine Feminine. You have a masculine here who's ready to follow their heart and to take things to the next level between the two of you. Okay, so that's actually really nice that that's coming through twice in this reading. But for some of my feminines, perhaps you're allowing your fears and anxieties to get in the way. This can represent insomnia for some of the feminines here, unable to get any sleep feeling perhaps hopeless that you and your masculine are going to be able to work this out. Feeling depressed and just unable to cope because you're in this vibe of healing that sorrow that you've experienced. We have another knight coming in, knight of swords. So swords representing air energy here. Gemini, this could be your own vibe coming through here. Maybe you are wanting to take action towards your person here. There's a possibility, you know, but part of the thing with the Knight of Swords is somebody who gets easily bored, not wanting to really commit. So Divine Feminine, if you were dealing with a masculine, perhaps, who is just wanting to play, for lack of a better word, okay, or just wanting to get into a relationship for the physical connection and nothing else, that could have been what you were dealing with before. And so... If, for example, you have a masculine wanting to reach out to you, wanting to make amends to bridge the gap between the two of you, maybe there's a part of you that's just really afraid to accept them back in. And that's where Archangel Gabriel comes in, helping to heal what you guys have been through to open up lines of communication here. Look at this. There we are with the Three of Swords. So this is heartbreak. Okay, that's why we have sorrow coming through here forgiving the need to forgive a love triangle third parties infidelities so we have a feminine here who's struggling a little bit to perhaps find forgiveness when it comes to the masculine let's grab one more card here for the feminine what else, please? We have Archangel Sophia coming in. So we've got Gabriel and Sophia. That could be your name, their name, okay? I am the angel of love. I can help you manifest a reconciliation with your beloved. I can assist in efforts towards forgiveness. There you go. And bring about a mutual understanding between you and your partner. I can show you the way to self-love and in finding the great love of your life. Call on me if you are looking to awaken your heart chakra. I love that. So there definitely is assistance coming through for the Divine Feminines from Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Sophia. Beautiful. You're not meant to be in this energy of sorrow forever. You're meant to create progress from that and to learn from that and to find forgiveness in your heart, whether you and your masculine ever come back together because this as i've mentioned in previous readings this is a gift that you offer yourself so that you can finally heal and grow and move forward and perhaps 
find love again, whether it's with the one that you're thinking of for this reading, or if you're really meant to move in a different direction and find love elsewhere. Okay, so let's go ahead and see where the Divine Masculine is at in all this. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the Masculine's Madness 2 deck. So this is by Bridget of Divine Essentials here. Angels and Spirit Guides focusing on Gemini for this bonus reading. Focusing on the Divine Masculine now. So Masculines, where are you at? Where is the Masculine at? We have Decompress. I just need some time alone. Please don't take it personally. That did come through already earlier. You know, we ended up seeing the Hermit card that came through so somebody needs alone time maybe you both need that but it's coming through here when it comes to the divine masculine needing that time alone but also wanting the feminine to know it's like it's don't take it personally it might just be something that they really needed to do right now look at this embarrassed i feel so stupid that could be part of the reason why they want to be alone because they're embarrassed to come towards you knowing that they did something really stupid and maybe they didn't think before they acted. So they've got some regrets here. Sexual appetite. Only you can satisfy my appetite. So that's what's coming through from the masculine here. Fantasizing still, certainly sexually, about the divine feminine. So let's add to this. Let's add some words to this. So I'm going to pull from my Thinking Man Oracle. This is the Volume 2 deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini, focusing on the Divine Masculine. All right, let's see. Sorry for that background noise, guys. I've got the dryer going, and it's so damn loud today. I apologize. Hopefully it's not super loud and you guys can hear me okay. All right, some words from the masculine here. You know it's me, stop running. So we might have had a feminine who was a runner and a masculine who was the chaser. And they really want you to know, Divine Feminine, it's like, please stop running because it's me. I want to be a part of your life. But at the same time, you know, they also... For some of our masculines here, not quite ready to reach out because they're feeling stupid. And as it says, you know, they need some alone time. But from a distance, fantasizing sexually about the feminine. I never knew loneliness until you said goodbye. So that clarifies here for some of us that can relate to this. That we have... A feminine here who walked away from the masculine saying goodbye to the masculine you are my only desire and part of the issue here guys because we have seen a reference to love triangles that have presented itself in this reading so we now have a masculine coming through letting the feminine know it's like there might have been other people in the picture before but now you're the only one that I want and last message, losing you is the single most heartbreaking thing that has shattered me beyond repair. So it really broke their heart. It hurt them. They might not show it, which is why they're not coming towards you and why they want to decompress and spend time alone. Maybe they are just too embarrassed to be open and vulnerable with you, Divine Feminine. They don't want you to see them in that vulnerable state. Interesting. So let's clarify. I'm going to pull from an Illuminated Star Tarot deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Gemini. All right, what are we looking at here? When it comes to the masculine. Okay, so we do have a reverse Queen of Wands coming through. And... In the upright, this is a feminine who is typically confident, independent, determined, 
okay so in the reverse it might be the opposite of all of those things we might also have a feminine here who's jealous and feeling really insecure so part of that jealousy and insecurity might be that the masculine got themselves involved with other people causing this feminine to have a bit of a jealous streak didn't that already come through if i'm not mistaken i gotta look here sorry let me just look at this really quick i've done so many readings here today guys i swear there was this reference to someone who had a jealous streak am i tripping I guess I'm tripping. That was a different reading. Sorry, guys. Yeah. So it seems here that we have a feminine who has had to deal with that. It caused you to feel really jealous and insecure because your masculine's attention was elsewhere. Look at this. We've got the seven of wands, which is competition challenge. That competition had to do with other people but it's clarifying embarrassed i feel so stupid so we now have a masculine here who regrets what they've done we've got the queen of pentacles coming in here so if you happen to be divine feminine virgo capricorn or taurus this could be you and if you're watching for a masculine who happens to be gemini they still desire you sexually and as it says only you can satisfy my appetite so your masculine here has had a breakthrough clarity they they see clearly now what it is that they're wanting this is also about cutting things and people out of their life so more than likely what they did cut out of their life was a third party situation or whoever it was that they were with at the time that they could not be with you or the other way around Four of Swords, rest, relaxation, recuperation. Taking a break from the connection. And this is another card where somebody needs time alone. Decompress, Four of Swords. That makes sense for this masculine. We have the Page of Pentacles followed by the Ace of Pentacles. Both amazing cards, Gemini. We've got quite a bit of earth energy presenting itself here so virgo capricorn taurus coming through quite heavily page of pentacles is someone who's ambitious they've got a lot that they want to be able to manifest in their life certainly financially so we might have a masculine here who's throwing a lot of their energies towards their career their life purpose their job right now financially maybe they're doing a whole lot better but when it comes to love and romance, the Page of Pentacles, I feel is somebody who's wanting to throw their energies into manifesting this love connection. You know, it is coming through. You are my only desire. And the Ace of Pentacles is a solid offer of stability, of commitment. For some of you, it could even be marriage. Both of these cards are talking about manifestation right here. The opportunity for new beginnings. But because they are not ready, it might take a bit of time for this to happen. But I feel eventually it'll head in that direction. There's a really good chance that that could ultimately happen. Okay, so that's what's coming through from there. Let's go ahead and grab some additional guidance regarding your connection here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one card each from four separate decks. I'm going to start with this deck by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. Love me, love me not. Love messages. Angels and spirit guides, please. Some additional guidance regarding this connection for Gemini. So let's grab one. I don't know why this one is face up. Let's grab it. That was not supposed to be like that. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. Every time you come around, I get weak. That's so weird. I've used this deck so many times today, and I've 
check them and that wasn't supposed to be face up like that maybe there's a reason why that's coming through in that way I feel there's someone here that you're thinking about, Gemini, and you still have love for this person. And remember the whole reference to what came through earlier? I just want to show you guys. Look at this. We'll sweep you off your feet. It's amazing how you knock me off my feet. I feel it's mutual. You guys have that same effect on each other love at first sight instant attraction that is what i am picking up here for the collective for you gemini and for the person that you are thinking about so let's grab a message from the love games deck by sister moon tarot angels and spirit guides please for gemini i'm guided to this one hibernating do you see that? It makes sense. We've got the Hermit coming through in this reading, as well as the decompress message that is coming forward from the masculine. They're not ready to come towards the feminine. They are in hibernation mode because they are embarrassed. But they still love the feminine. That is what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's grab a card from this deck by Fire Witch Tarot, Divinely Connected. Angels and Spirit Guides for Gemini, please. I'm guided to this card. If either one of us shall awaken first, let's not judge one another. We must be patient makes sense to me you know especially because we have a masculine here who's not ready so divine feminine you got to be patient waiting for perhaps your masculine to awaken until they are ready to come towards you with that solid offer for the partnership okay and then lastly we'll grab a card from the arrows of love oracle by mystic moon angels and spirit guides please for Gemini. I'm guided to this one. Heart storm. Okay. So there has been heartbreak here for sure. Gemini that has come through in this reading. It hasn't been an easy journey for either of you, but I'm feeling it more so for the divine feminine, because remember the feminines ended up getting the sorrow card. So it's been a bit more challenging I feel when it comes to the feminines here this hasn't been easy whatsoever sorrow and then we ended up getting the three of swords which is heartbreak betrayal loneliness okay over the separation sorrow I mean both of these cards are picking up off of each other love triangle third party situations a very painful breakup that's what all this is about and that is going to need some time to heal it's not going to happen right away okay so let's go ahead and clarify that i'm going to pull from my tabby tarot teacher here angels and spirit guides please for gemini all right what else do we need to know when it comes to this connection. What else do we need to know for Gemini? The Ten of Wands. Okay, so it's time to lay down the heaviness, those heavy burdens that perhaps both of you have been carrying when it came to the past and what you guys have endured there. It's burnt you guys both out. It stresses you out still. Especially the masculines needing time to decompress and just get to a point where they're comfortable connecting with the feminine. But right now, as we've already seen, they're embarrassed. They know they messed up. They know that they did really stupid things and they're not quite ready to come forward, which is why they're more than likely just in hermit mode and hibernating here.
We have a Knight of Pentacles who's ready and willing to put in the work to make this a reality. And that as well, I believe, has already come through here. Again, I'm getting my cards mixed up with other readings, probably. I think I am. I'm tripping. <laughs> this is one of those readings where I'm like, oh, I could have sworn I saw that card before. But anyway, we've got a masculine, I feel, that's coming through with this very slow moving energy. It makes sense for me, though. They want to be able to manifest this connection in the 3D world. They're ready to take responsibility for their actions. But maybe, you know, they're just really not ready. Page of Pentacles, desire to manifest, dreams. So both of these energies from the masculine, and again, it's coming through with earth energy, very heavy earth energy in this reading, Gemini. Wanting to build a solid foundation for this connection. So I feel it's the masculine that's going to need a little bit more time. Look at this. We've got the Three of Swords again coming through. Clarifying Heartstorm. It makes sense. This was not an easy journey whatsoever, Gemini. And it's going to take time to heal this heart. There's no way around it. That's why there's this need to just wait. Be patient. Until the other person can meet the other halfway. I feel eventually that that's possible. But if you're hoping for things to move a little bit quicker, Gemini, maybe your person isn't ready or maybe you're not. Okay, so wrapping things up here, guys, with some musical messages. I'm going to pull from my Heart Songs deck. So this is the Volume 1 version. The other one is Heart Songs of the 90s. So let's grab some songs from here. If you're not familiar with the songs, see if you resonate with the lyrics. All right, here we go. So I feel you guys can find happiness again. It's just going to take some time. A little bit more time, a little bit more healing. You guys have been through something difficult. Look at this. You've lost that love and feeling by the Righteous Brothers. Makes sense, especially since there were infidelities in this partnership. So it does say you never close your eyes anymore when I kiss your lips. And there's no tenderness like before in your fingertips. You're trying hard not to show it. But baby, baby, I know it. So... This is the person who was cheated on, basically. This is the person who's speaking through this particular song, letting the other person know. It's like, you know, the way we're interacting, the way you're kissing me, the way our intimate moments are, something's changed. Something's different, more than likely because there was a third-party situation. That is what's coming through here. We have Just to Hold You Once Again by Mariah Carey. And then we've got Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. A couple of these same songs came through for the Virgo reading. So Just to Hold You Once Again, it wasn't really commercially promoted, for lack of a better word, for Mariah's albums. I forget which one actually it was from, but it's such a beautiful song and it's, it packs a punch. It's a tearjerker song, you know? So this is the lyrics. It says, Do you know how it feels lying here without you, baby? You could never understand what's happening to me. So alone, nothing's real. I just dream about you and forever wonder why you had to break free. Even though you're not my lover, even though you're not my friend, I would give my all to have you here. This is someone who is willing to do anything and everything to be able to have a reconciliation with the person that they love and letting them know that it's been so incredibly difficult not being in each other's presence. So then we have got this song here, Lay Me Down by Sam Smith. 
Yes, I do. I believe that one day I will be where I was right there, right next to you. And it's hard. The days just seem so dark. The moon and the stars are nothing without you. For me, these two songs are speaking to each other. We could have a feminine here pouring their heart out to the masculine and a masculine who's basically letting the feminine know. It's like, I'm going to be there where I was with you again someday. But it might take me a little bit longer. So just be patient until that can happen. That's what I'm getting from that. All right, Gemini. So that is what's coming through for your bonus reading. I do hope whatever part of it made sense for you. Helps bring you some clarity, some peace. And let's go ahead and see how this all plays out in the upcoming weeks or however long it takes. Since there is a reference to patience here. All right, guys, so that's it for now. If you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. Thank you guys so very much, and I will see you next time.